Hi, and welcome again with our fifth video of ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework. So our previous uh, videos, we created our uh, the SQL database. After that, we create our uh, our project in uh, Visual Studio. We create our modules and our services. Uh, as we said, today we'll talk about uh, data access layer. We'll add now a new folder. Uh, let's call it repository. In this one, let's say we'll manage all our connection string in this one. So first of all, let's add a class. This class will call it uh, db or db small con context. Okay. Uh, it will be public. Uh, the builder of this uh, CTOR will be uh, okay, but first of all, we need to inherit it from the B, sorry, DB context. Hmm. Now we can we can create same DB context of the database. So let's uh, rename it to DB. Okay, like this. Just change the yes, yes to all. Okay, just like this. And now DB context. This one will come from int firmware core. Okay. We work again. CTOR our builder but first of all yes in the builder we need to write db uh, to be db context options db cause this one option this are prepare our con our connection like this base option again option sorry that's it. Oh, sorry, no need to. Now, uh, how many tables we have in our SQL Server? Uh, we have four tables. Uh, first one, we call it DB set. Uh, let's say student. Okay, here we need a name of uh, our student, should be same name. Let's put our database. We call it, uh, mm, yeah, student. This one. I need same this name. Okay, put it here. Get set. If different name, I need here to add data to, na to nation. I should call it, say, a data table or a, t a table name. I call different what I have in my SQL, but this okay, no problem like this, because I put same name here and on my SQL server. DB set second one will be courses. What I call it here. Same get set. Okay. DB set, uh, let's say enrollment. Okay, I think same more, nothing change here. Okay, enrollment get set. Last one will be a DB set. Uh, last one was I uh, think gender. Give us error. Don't worry. 
So uh, next step after we add our tables here, uh, we need to go to add our connection string. So our connection string, uh, we need to add in this folder as JSON JSON uh, connection string. Okay, let's add it here at the top. this to and close it here do not make any mistake okay oh sorry yeah look in that should be inside the login Rolex mm. here I call this one should care about the name connection String, strings. Okay. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> JSON. I need to write the connection name. Let's say, uh, connection str. Okay. After that, two point. I'll write my connection string. That's it. Let me send this down a little bit. Okay. Here I write my connection. So we need here server. Okay. Uh, my server name here is just point because it's local server. After that, I need data base name exactly the same name what I call it there I think I call it uh, student db same name okay after that uh, there is r okay the r trusted and underscore equal g on okay amount t and apply okay log t b result yeah I think like that b set I would put it in the comment maybe better than write all this one true that's it that's my connection string we're back to all these things but I need you to remember the con str what I already write there after that to add it on our uh, startup uh, startup file let's go to our startup file on the configuration method uh, what we we'll write here? We'll write service d and the uh, db context my application db big one on text okay, just let me import this one ping okay from repository and open this one, say option trends equal mm, will be again oh, let's go down one options dot use sql server where is it use sql SQL server I need here a configuration dot get connection string uh, what I call my connection string if you don't remember we should back to copy it from there 
on string let's start up just put this one here okay some people they add this uh, connection string this one they add it in our uh, in uh, db context they put it in the build, uh, constructor but if you add it in the in startup file would be better but let me check here why this one let's import it okay uh, that's it that's what we call it a connection string we import our connection string or we write our connection string so I think it's easy not that hard after first first thing we build our uh, DB context after that we write our connection string in the JSON file app setting last point just to add in the service to register it in the pi pipeline uh, that's it for today and we'll try to finish our repository or write our full repository in the next video